I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Roman Real Style. Today we're going to be talking about what to wear to a class reunion. All right, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this video, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. And last but not least, if you want to learn more about men's style, I've got a great 47 page ebook that also puts you on my email list where I'll continue to send you great tips on men's style and you'll have the chance to enter contests where we have some pretty, pretty cool giveaways, I think so. All right, this is the question that came in. And this came over from Marcel and he's asking, Hi Antonio, I have to tell you how helpful your daily videos are. Well, you're welcome. I recently met an old schoolmate and somehow the question came up, what to wear to our class reunion? And so I started thinking, how should I dress? Especially when I haven't seen these people for a long time and I wanna create a solid first impression. My usual go-to outfit is a well-fitted suit, but do you have any suggestions and what would be your thoughts? Okay, Marcel. So let me go ahead and jump right into this. There are a number of factors that are going to go into this. I mean, you, it sounds like a suit is what you're already planning. And if this is what you normally wear, th then go for it. In addition, the, one of the other factors that you mentioned is that you haven't seen these people for a long time. So here you're wanting to, in a sense, reset the clock. And if you think about it, a lot of these people maybe haven't seen you for 10 years, maybe 20 years. And they have this impression though of the last time they saw you. That's how they remember you. They knew you at a very impressionable time period and they may look at you as the class clown. They may remember you as the jock. They remember you as the guy at the back of the, cl back of the class that didn't say anything. Whatever it may be, most likely you're not that person anymore. You have transformed, you have gone on to do great things and you wanna go in there and show in really without having to say a word that you are a different person. So in order to click that reset button, I do suggest that you dress your best and go in there and just knock them out. But you know, to give a little bit more general guidance, the first thing I would look at is to what I'm gonna wear for anyone else out there that may have this question is what are you trying to do? And how familiar are you with the group that's getting together? I went to a small high school in West Texas and I know a lot of the people still live in that area back in around Midland, Texas. It was a small school called Greenwood. And at Greenwood, you know, a lot of people, they're just in that area and they see each other, you know, whenever they go to any of the local stores, if you happen to go to, you know, the Outback or any of the restaurants, you're oftentimes gonna run into somebody. So they've seen most of the people there. But if I went back, I haven't seen a lot of these people for 10, it's, I guess, how old am I? <laughs> wow, it's, it's gonna be you know 15 years. So in that case, I would tell you that I would be wearing at least a sports jacket, a pair of really nice raw denim or a pair of odd trousers with probably my Western boots or dress uh, slip-on loafers. But that would be me because I realized I would be wanting to click the reset to show that I have changed and I'm no longer that really quiet, shy guy that never really said anything that I've kind of transformed myself into someone I'm very proud of and I want people to know that. There's also the issue and some of uh, you may be feeling this, especially if you were pigeonholed as someone that was super quiet or perhaps you were very unpopular and people made fun of you. Perhaps you don't wanna go into this. You wanna go show these people that you're beyond that and there's a bit of a psychological barrier. So dressing nice is kind of like a suit of armor. You're gonna go in there and you know, you're gonna show them that, hey, I am a successful person and you may be still that small person that's going to think of me as, you know, that loser that, you know, didn't really, didn't, you didn't think was gonna to amount to anything, but I'm here to show you that I overcame that and I'm, I hope that you have become a bigger, a bigger person as well. So, you know, take those factors into account. How, how often do you see these people? If, if you see these people on a daily basis and you're in that local town and everyone gonna be, it's gonna be attending this except for maybe one or two people you've seen, you know, just last week, you probably don't have to dress to the same extent. Although you can, because at the end of the day, maybe you're dressed, I, I, I know I often dress and I talk about it. I want people to dress to the level really that, they're showing self-respect and they dress for themselves, not so much the other, you know, dressing for others is kind of the secondary reason, really you're dressing for yourself. And um, yeah, just remember you're representing your family. There's the good chance that you'll be bringing your wife or your significant other with you. And so maybe even your, if it's a family event, maybe your kids will be there. So you wanna put your best foot forward. So whether it's a suit, whether it's a sports jacket, odd trouser, whether it's 
a nice pair of denim with a dress shirt or you know if you've just got off work and you, you, you work in an industry in which you're gonna have to be wearing your uniform at least make sure it's clean and well put together but at the end of the day put forth the image that you want control that and have fun all right this has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style I'll see you in the next video bye bye